Hi, my name is Dr. Rob Sheely, and I'm a chiropractic physician. I've been in practice for 30 years, and I have just come across a very interesting term that really explains what I've been doing for the past 30 years. I'm very excited about it. I want to share this a little bit. The term is called energy management. Now, we may have heard that uh, uh, when it coincides with uh, electricity and, and, and conserving uh, drafts and things in our, in our homes, but, but I'm talking about personal energy management. You see, for years I've talked to people about drinking enough water or getting enough sleep or making sure exercise is a part of their life. But energy management brings up a whole different way of looking at it. Let me explain a little bit. Energy management means that you manage the choices that you make based on whether it gives you energy or whether it takes energy away. We all know people uh, that steal energy. You know, you might have a couple that uh, you go out with and uh, you say, I'm not going to do that any anymore because at the end of the day, at the end of the night, you feel more depleted than you do revived. And then there are people that you're around that give you energy, that you feel more alive, you feel more uh, everything that you want to be in your life. And what I am suggesting is that those choices are available to us all day long. You see, we can choose uh, to get enough sleep, unless you're having problems sleeping, and that may be an issue that needs to be addressed uh, addressed in, a, in another way as far as, of course, if you're in pain as, as a chiropractor, we were able to help people to rest better because we remove uh, some of the sources of pain and things like that, but but I'm talking about things that you have a choice on. You see, I think that we are given a gift that we get to choose. We get to choose what kind of things we bring into our life for the most part and those that we don't. We have a choice of managing them and how much we bring them into our lives to either give us energy or take energy away. Here's an example of something that I, I, I want to give you a story and then explain what that means. You know, when you fly on an airplane, they'll talk to you about uh, the idea of the, if the cabin uh, begins to lose air and then the, um, the masks for your uh, faces come down and then what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to put the mask on you first even though the natural instinct is to take care of your children first, but you're supposed to put the mask on you first, and then you're able to take care of your children. If you do it the other way around, everybody in the aisle could be dead. So the, the point here is that we must manage our own energy first so that we can have the ability to do what it is that we were designed to do. What I believe we were created to do is to be all that we can be, and you can't do it with little or no energy. The idea is to have as much things accomplished, as many things, in a most excellent way uh, by the end of the day. But again, you can't do it unless you have the energy to do it. I also have learned this, is that real healing takes energy. Real healing doesn't necessarily come in the form of a pill. Now, in some cases, pills really help. I, I, We'll be the first to admit that. But real healing often comes with choices of lifestyle that we have brought into our life or chosen to not bring into our life. And that takes energy to heal. It takes energy to heal. Um, you know, nothing like a great night's sleep. There's nothing like a, a wonderful meal that uh, you feel better at after you've eaten. You know, sometimes people go out to eat and two hours later they feel like they're falling asleep. It's not necessarily the food, it's the kind of food. It's the kind of food that you eat that then your body then takes so much energy to digest. It doesn't make sense to make your body work so hard at digesting food when if you, if you just eat the right kind of food, it doesn't take that much energy. In fact, you are able to assimilate the food and, and digest it quickly enough that it gives you energy in your body. So choices of food, um, the kinds of food, the times that you eat, the quantity that you eat are all choices 
in energy management. Of course, there's other things, and I'm going back as I'm thinking, these are the things that I tell my patients, have told my patients for years, but really it, it, it sounds so much better and it makes so much sense. And I've told this to several patients, and they go, yeah, that makes sense. It's about energy management. Think about the things that make you tired or that wear you out or that uh, suck energy from, from your life. Well, we can choose, not in every case, but I'm talking about 80%, we can choose how much of that we're going to bring into our life. Um, sometimes we have to deal with those things, but we don't have to throw all of the energy in that to the point where we're totally empty and we're empty at the end of the day. We don't have um, what it is that we need to give our families when we come home. This has made a big difference. As I said, I went to a seminar and it talked about this energy management and I thought, this is what I do. And so I am going to explain this more and more in terms of energy management. As a chiropractic physician, that's really what it is that I've been doing all this time, is teaching people how to manage their energy enough so they have enough so the body can get well. We believe that in many cases, the body, most cases, the body has the ability to heal itself if we give it a chance. Now, I'm not going to talk and tell you that I think chiropractic care can cure everything. Now, come on, I'm not saying that. But there are certain things that we take care of that we get consistently great results at. Certainly headaches, lower back, arm, leg pains, uh, muscular, neuromuscular problems. Those are what we do and do very, very well. So, you know, I'm suggesting that if, if there are people that, that, that see this video and understand that, that that's what we do, it's a good idea to go to an expert that does that. But really, it's energy management. And so much of this can be done on your own. Most things that get people sick have to do with the fact that they're not managing their energy correctly. So I thought I'd throw that idea out. I want you to think about it. I want you to, um, to comment on this. Um, let me know what you think about this idea. See if it doesn't make sense to you, if it doesn't resonate with you to the point where, yes, we do have more control over our lives than we actually give ourselves credit. I believe that we can create events, situations, opportunities in our life by the choices that we make and by the people that we hang out with and the things that we read. Um, I rarely watch television. Um, I don't know what, honestly, I don't know what uh, particular night any programs come on because I just don't watch that. I don't see that there's a tremendous amount of value in it, except that there may be some programs that specifically you know about that could be helpful. Um, I just want to share this idea with you. We get to create our own lives. We really do. And it's all based on what kind of filters we send into our brains. You see, our brains, they, they really don't know the difference between, listen to this, they don't know the difference between a, a vividly imagined thought and reality. So what am I saying? I'm saying that what we put into our system, what we put into our brains, uh, we choose whether they're really great things for our life or whether we don't make a conscious decision and let things come in and change us in a way that we really don't want if we're consciously thinking about it. So I'll send this out. I'd be interested in what you're thinking and what your thoughts are, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.